Hello everybody and welcome to a review of the Mallard Record Breaker train set. I've already taken this out of the box and ran it. It is a beautiful model and um, the plug has just got caught over there. Okay, it's a beautiful model. Uh, we'll just push it back on the tracks here. Got sprung buffers. It is in the post grouping ever three, I believe. Livery is already had the record break uh, stamp put on it at this point, obviously, because it broke it while it was owned by the LNR, aka before grouping, if you know what I'm talking about. Um, it's all one piece. This um, attached to the tender, not moulded, but you can see it's connected there by a wire, which hangs very low, and I've noticed it can get caught on the rails if they're not joined properly, and points. Uh, this could be just a fault with my model though, I do have a way to fix it, planned, I don't know what it is yet, properly, but I'm planning to like raise it up a bit. In it you also get three coaches, let's go take a look at them now. And here the coaches are, they are quite nice, blood and custard coaches, well they're really dark, I don't hope they're blood and custard, that's what I've been calling them, um, yeah, it, they're quite nice. We get two that it's pretty much exactly the same. Um, uh, don't believe there's any differences. And you also get a brake coach. Which, no, it doesn't have fatter windows. On each side there's different level of windows. And I'll put them on the wrong way. So they won't match. Not on purpose, I'll sort that out now. But all that's different about the brake coach is it doesn't have as many windows and it's got the brake unit in the back. But not actually because it's the model. So it doesn't really have the brake unit. But, in real life, the brake unit would be in the back. Okay, let's get the mallard out the siding, look and running. Before showing you it running, I want to show you the sprung buffers. Very nice. Let's go a couple of the coaches. And the power's gone. Sorry about that, but the power is working now. Don't think that... Oh, there's the tent power okay. Sorry about the mess, I've been running trains in all day. Okay, that's going straight now. Gonna put this water tower back. Not glued down yet. Uh, I'm still in the process of doing that all, uh, but yeah, got models everywhere, they're all perfectly okay, I've not just chucked them before anybody says it, and if you're wondering what controller I'm using, I'm using the, um, sorry not this, called this, but the classic Hornby analog DC, analog controller rather, I haven't upgraded DC, C, but I kind of prefer this sort of vibes. So, I've worked it down to a crawl, um, I'm not sure about the, what type of motor is in it, I don't want to accidentally break anything by taking the, um, outer shell off, but yeah, it's a lovely little model. I believe this retails on Hornby's website for 250 quid in pounds. I don't know about dollars or yen or whatever currency your country uses. I'm in England, so we use pounds. So, that's what I'm going to be using. Okay, I believe those points have accidentally flicked. So, let's go sort that. Percy's so excitable. There we go. It struggles up here a bit, but that isn't the model's fault. That is because my entire layout is actually on an angle. Because uh, it's a hill. What are you going to do? I'll show you what else comes in the set now. So in the set you get a re-railer, the power track, the cords, the controller, and uh, the track to make that. So you can get a little siding and of course you get the buffer stop. Another thing they get that they don't tell you, you get the track mat. 
and the paperwork that tells you how to um, maintain the loco. It's the Class A for Railroad, so in here it will tell you how to do it, and if we look at the picture of the motor, yes, that is the similar motor to the Flying Scotsman model that I have. I'll show you that now. What I was getting ready to show you, the mallard is caught on the points here. I believe it's the points. Yeah, let's see if it does again. Because it doesn't do it when I have the camera on it. Um, but here's the motor, so I don't really know what I'm looking at here, I'll be perfectly honest. But people who are, if you've been in buying the set, uh, I do know that's where the DCC decoder and stuff can go. Right there, so I do know that. Um, but yeah, so if you're interested in that, there's the motor. Have fun. Right as I was refitting the top of the Flying Scotsman, uh, again, you, I don't know what it, it's a star. Must just love the fame. Uh, but yeah. I'll be having another review coming out later this week on uh, the Coca-Cola Christmas train set. So that should be coming out tomorrow if you're watching on the day it's released. But if you're watching on the day it's released or at any point in January, Happy New Year from me. Anyway, thank you for watching this video. I'm just going to get some footage of the trains running for you and call it a day. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.